Uh, now, Chairman of Saudi Arabia's General Entertainment Authority and Royal Advisor to the Saudi Crown Prince, Turkey Al Al Sheikh, phoned into Talksport earlier this afternoon with Jim White and Simon Jordan. Have a listen to his excellent. Excellently, personally invite Jim White and Simon Jordan to this weekend's 5v5 event in Riyadh. I ask my teams to invite you, Talk Sport, to the event in 5 versus 5, especially you and Simon, but they tell me you are on vacation with Simon will go to America. This is uh, quite extraordinary. Joining us now for more on this is, of course, Jim White, the man himself. James, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. <laughs> Andy, good afternoon. Darren, good afternoon to you. You all right? We're very Jim, good, thank you. Jim, you know what's very bizarre, right? Because I looked up to see you. I know you're on FaceTime now. And I got the wrong telly. And as you were as you were talking, I'm looking at Donald Trump talking. I'm like, Jim White's changed a bit, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> no, it is me, but I'm not waiting for any verdict in New York, Andy, I can assure you. Listen, this news is, um, is absolutely bonkers. Let's start off. We'll talk about the rematch in a moment. But let's start off with the fact that you got this phone call this morning. Tell me more about that. Yeah, well, I mean, it's exactly as you described. We were on air, and earlier on this morning, uh, news had come through that the, the, the rematch, Usyk against Fury, was scheduled for December the 21st. So we went with that, obviously. It came from the Saudis themselves. It, it came from the very man who was later to join us, uh, Turkey Al Al Sheikh. And, and that was that. He had put that out on Twitter, and uh, it seemed to come as a bit of uh, a surprise, Andy, actually, to Frank Warren and his counterpart in Ukraine, uh, Alex Krasiuk. But anyway, that was it, and the rematch was December the 21st. We spoke about that. Krasiuk himself came on and joined us. Um, and, th and then, much further down the line, uh, Chris Kirtland was in studio with Danny Murphy, myself, and Simon. And in the very last few moments... Uh, of the show, about 10 to 1 or so, you've been in the situation before, Andy. Uh, the producer, in my case, producer Luke, um, gives me a little message through my, my headphones. Uh, Turkey Al Al Sheikh from Saudi Arabia has called in and is waiting and wants to join you live. Um, and that's exactly what happened. That is exactly what happened. And then he proceeded to join us. And um, thereafter, for the first time, we, we had a conversation with them. So there's an invite for you and Simon to go out. What's the latest with that? Are you both going out? Well, what happened was he, there had been a bit of pushback from the Saudis because in our show, we'd questioned a few things about big time boxing going from London, it seemed, out to Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. We questioned one or two things about it. And there had been a bit of unrest and a bit of pushback. And we wondered, I wonder if anything will happen to broker any peace further down the line. Well, this seemed to be the olive branch that we were waiting for. And it was done in a very nice way. Um, so Simon is in the United States this weekend. I was actually on holiday uh, as of Friday for a few days before our show moves out to Germany to cover the Euros. So I have now decided to put that on hold and yeah, I'm, I've told them I'll go, so I'm going to go to Riyadh um, for, for the fight on Saturday and meet Turkey Al Al Sheikh himself. Jim, how is important is it then that TalkSport are now back involved with the Saudi fights? Because they are getting all the absolute massive heavyweight fights. Certainly, well, not even just heavyweight division, all divisions. I think that was key, to be quite honest, Darren. Um, it had gone on for quite a, a while. There was a bit of stalemate as to who wanted to talk to who or who would maybe break the ice first. Um, you know, Simon, when he's on with me, um, he, he says what he means and he means what he says. And he, he was standing his ground on one or two things. His points were well made. And uh, well, there we are. Now the, the top man, the very man who brokers all these big deals for the fights to happen out in Saudi Arabia, has said, no, let's talk. So he got in touch and now we will. Jim, what odds can I get that on Monday you'll be in the studio uh, head to toe in brand new Versace and Rolex gear and go, you know what, the atmosphere out there is unbelievable. <laughs> well, you won't be getting any odds on that, Andy, um, because I, I'm, I'm not in, I think, until the end of next week. Oh, But okay. you, you will probably hear me. I mean, I am looking forward to seeing it. I am looking forward to seeing what they get up to out there um, because they have been very serious about what they're doing. And this five versus five, Andy, should be quite, but yeah, it's quite different, isn't it? It's groundbreaking. Five from the Queensbury uh, stable, five from Matchroom, and they go head to head. So it's Frank Warren against Eddie Hearn, but it's out in Saudi Arabia. You know, 
Jim, it sounds, no. it sounds like you're going to go out there flying the flag for TalkSport, so uh, I'm intrigued and interested to see what goes on and how you get on, and uh, I'm looking forward to listening to it when you get back. Good man. Speak to you soon. Thanks, Jim. Cheers, Keep up Jim. With the work. Jim White, going out to Saudi, being in, invent, uh, inv- invited, I should say, mm. by uh, the top man out there. Yes, yeah, it's, it's nice, that. Are we going out? Yeah, if we get the invite, if he wants to call this show. Then, yeah. yeah, but we don't slack him off, do we? So why don't we get the, show? Don't get the invite, then? I don't know why we haven't got the invite, actually. Would you go? They yeah. phone up now, because he, he listens. This is his favourite yeah. This is his favorite show, you yeah. know that. If he phones up and goes, I'll have goals in the bed, let's get him out there. I need you this weekend, will you go? Yeah, 100%. Okay, fine. It's got to be first class, though. No business class rubbish. <laughs> uh, Stanley Boxing. It's a business class rubbish. James <laughs> Oliver will be joining us live from the matchroom with Queensbury 5v5 Open Worker in Saudi Arabia later on in today's show. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.